everybody today i want to bring you a little bit of a different type of video janice wasn't able to join me however i'm here today we come to pay our respects to a true american hero and just what is an american hero robert h jenkins Robert served in the United States Marines in the Vietnam era. However, early one morning, March 5th, 1969, Robert and his 12-man group were securing, basically, some, some things there in Vietnam. Vietnamese army attacked through those attacks they were launching mortars using automatic weapons throwing hand grenades Robert and another Marine took up position just the two of them and immediately started responding with accurate gunfire and doing everything they were trained to do. However, one of the Vietnamese armies, one of the fellows there, the soldiers there, threw a hand grenade. That hand, hand grenade came into their vicinity of the two of them. And as a true American hero would, he didn't run. He didn't try to get away. He actually pushed his fellow comrade down and jumped on top of him and took the impact of the grenade, saving his comrade's life and losing his. Robert was 20 years old. Twenty years old. Could you imagine twenty years old in another country going through this? And giving your life for someone else and for your country. with no thoughts of taking off or trying to run or trying to get away. No thoughts of a lot today that think of themselves. He took an oath. And that oath wound up taking his life but with no regrets this American hero saved the life of another and gave his life for all of us and our freedoms this my friends is everything a true American hero is and should be. Sadly, in today's time, many have got that twisted and make thugs, drug dealers, criminals, people who do not deserve the title as a hero. They make them a hero. But ladies and gentlemen, this is a true American hero and should be honored as such. This weighs deeply on my heart and I'm very saddened to even have to come here and pay my respects and visit this man.
My son and daughter-in-law both served the United States Air Force. I have a son who is a Marine. I have a son that's a fire res in fire rescue. Another son in law enforcement. Those are our true American heroes. And fellows like this. That gave it all to save another. Now next to him is his mother, Willie Mae Jenkins, and his father, Robert Henry Jenkins, also United States Army, served in World War II. These two folks tell me a lot about this young 20-year-old man that perished saving the life of another. Tells me a lot of the raising and the morals, the respect that they brought this man up with. Tells me a lot about the type of people they were. In my book, they're heroes too. These are the stories we don't hear anymore. But this is a story that I'm going to tell you. Because it deserves its place in history. He deserves to be remembered. He deserves to be honored. And this is why it's so important that we stand up for our flag. Not kneel. That we stand up for everything it means. Why we shouldn't burn our flags. Why we should respect our country and our flag. You want to see a better America? First, you have to be a better American. You want to see change? Change it. You want to see difference? Be it. Just as Robert was. A true American hero. Nothing less. I am honored... be here paying my respects to everything a hero is and we have to stop getting it twisted because it works for an agenda for society or for what people need it to be do not take the respect away from men like this women like this that truly deserve that honor and it does doesn't matter what color you are Robert was a colored man I as a white man I'm beyond grateful for this young man and everything he did to give us those freedoms to fight for what he believed in fight for us we can't tarnish that not at all a true American hero Robert, Robert H. Jenkins, Jr. March 5th, 1960, I think it was 69. Let me look out a look on this side, you guys. And I think that's what it was. I'm trying to remember correctly. Yes, March 5th, 1969. It's when he lost his life. and was given that Medal of Honor for his heroic actions and the love he had in his heart for 
another man saving his life and for his country giving his life never looking back never trying to get out of the situation did just what a hero should do I'm at a loss of words. I take our soldiers and our troops, our flag, and our country, and have great respect for all of it. Because I know what everything this red, white, and blue stands for. And I know before I can sit back and complain about the way things are, I myself, as an American, have a part to do we all do if you don't stand or respect for any other reason it's not about government this is what it's about Stand for them, honor for them, respect for them, because they did it for us. You guys, for me, I think this is probably one of the most important videos I will ever do. Mr. Robert, thank you, sir, for your service and your sacrifice in keeping us all free and giving us the rights and the freedoms that we have. But I apologize to you, sir, for so many twisting to what they need them to be. I know what they really are, and I thank you, sir. that you guys I'm gonna get off of here if you think about nothing else when it comes to standing and honoring our flag and our country think of these these folks like Robert the men and the women that gave all to keep us free everybody have a good day and until the next one We'll talk later.